Prometheus, the prequel to Alien, poses fascinating scientific questions, inviting us on a journey through speculation and science fiction rooted in real theories. The film begins with the theory that extraterrestrial beings seeded life on Earth, an idea that resonates with panspermia, a hypothesis that life spreads throughout the universe through meteorites, comets, and even by the pressure of stellar radiation that propels microorganisms through the void. In Prometheus, these engineers not only seed, but actively modify our DNA, accelerating evolution in a targeted manner, directly intervening in the natural course of life on Earth and altering its destiny. This is based on the possibility, still theoretical but increasingly plausible thanks to advances in biotechnology, of large-scale genetic manipulation, where an advanced entity could alter the genetic code of a species to direct its development towards specific ends, creating new life forms or modifying existing ones to suit its own designs. The film also addresses the concept of habitable exoplanets, worlds outside our solar system that could harbor life, expanding our view of the universe and the possibilities of finding companionship or, perhaps, competitors. LV2-2-3, the planet to which the Prometheus crew travels, is an example of this, albeit with a breathable but evidently hostile atmosphere and lacking a flourishing biosphere, reminding us that habitability is a complex spectrum and that the conditions for life are delicate and not always obvious. The presence of a massive artificial structure on LV2-2-3 raises questions about megascale engineering, the construction of structures of colossal dimensions that defy our imagination, a field humanity has only theoretically explored through concepts like Dyson spheres and ring worlds. The black goo, the alien pathogen that transforms living beings, is perhaps the most speculative element.